Hello YouTube, just a quick video on the Rip Rap Atom X that I've got going now. Um, finally, after all the bits arrived, it took me about a week to put together. Uh, not my idea, I'll put a link in the description of where I got the idea from and the guy that invented it. It's 100% PLA, it's all 3D printed, it's designed to be able to print itself, uh, pretty much. I made a couple of modifications. I made the front piece in one piece in Mesh Lab. I've got the the um, bed all as one piece. I've changed the x-axis stop. These are just cheap switches that I put a resistor on and they're normally closed. I've set that in firmware. I've changed the uh, z-axis switch as well so it's a bit more accurate. I have um, there goes the problem with the them because the hole for the grub screws just where the PLA is would you believe it yes cheap all-in-one eBay job for the um, extruder motor it's all 3d printed it's that's the old power supply off the a net which is still over there doing well um, the wiring is a god awful mess at the moment I've got to sort it all out just wanted to test it make sure it's working uh, these are NEMA 17 stepper motors. Um, these are six, sorry, eight mil smooth rods, eight mil, uh, two mil pitch lead screw, which I don't know why has to have 400 steps per millimeter to work. That was another bit of a headache. Um, got the wrong J head, um, so I've had to JB weld a nut onto that to get a long version rather than a short version. Avoid these like the plague, these are on Amazon for 15 quid and they're rubbish. Um, they block, so I'm just going to sort that clicking out. Yeah, they block, and the uh, for Mr. Y was bare, wired straight to the block. Uh, utter, utter rubbish. Don't worry, don't worry about it doing it. So that was a test cube off the A net, that was the first test cube off the. <laughs> Atom X and it's half the height um, and that was to do with the lead screw having to be 400 not 1600 or 200 or whatever other mods I'm going to put a heated bed it's ready to go but I don't know what the pin out is because the pin out on his site is totally different to that and also really it needs to be backed off this PLA a bit more I might even make it out of ABS I have put a metal plate underneath it and some cork but I don't think that's going to be enough the belts are all GT2 belts, they're all just zip tied on. Um, the other issue I had was with the pulleys, um, the bearings were fine there, but they were a bit big to fit in here, so I had to get some uh, clicking 11mm bearings, 11mm bearings out of diameter for that. Um, Probably gonna go a bit better on this switch because it's a bit how you're doing. There's a bit of flex on the um, lever, um, and I might even put some auto leveling on it when I'm really bored. But yeah, that's that. Uh, in terms of the guts of it, it is a Ramps 1.4 board with a um, 18 mega 2560 clone off eBay for about 20 quid with five stepper drivers LCD all the little heat sinks everything I've actually fried one of the um, stepper drivers um, and that was another issue I had it was juddering really juddering on the y-axis and I thought that that was something binding but it wasn't it was just a stepper driver um, haven't really tuned it yet the other issue I'm getting is on this uh, with this <coughs> apart from that infernal picking is the um, sometimes I get artifacts on the screen when it's not on USB and I think the 5 volt regulator on the board is not 100% so I'll probably upgrade that um, but yeah, apart from that it's using the old ANET's power supply um, seems to be alright so yeah get the heat bed on there get it a bit more calibrated and I'll see you all later cheers